Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on the installation of a Riverbed Stingray Virtual Appliance Load Balancer. Um, in this video I'm going to be installing uh, from an OVA template into VMware Workstation 9 the developer edition of the Stingray Traffic Manager. Um, it's a very simple setup. I'm just going to open up the OVA which I've downloaded direct from Riverbed and I'll provide a link for. Um, it's very simple. A name for the virtual machine as I'm sure you know. Um, storage path and that starts the the import process off um, licensing agreement is going to have to be accepted so if you just have a quick read of that um, you can review the uh, license before proceeding but if you click accept and you can begin the import um, the import takes about two minutes on my machine but uh, to try and not bore you too much I'm going to uh, whiz through that and go to the end um, once the import's done we're going to make a very simple change which is more kind of um, of my machine um, i'm going to change the network adapter from bridged to uh, natted so i can take advantage of the single ip address on my on my machine so i've made that change if you need to make that change as well you can use any one of those options just be aware of uh, which ip address you can use for the for the host um, i'm going to power on the virtual machine now uh, because i've used natted there's a dhcp service within vmware workstation 9 that's going to give the stingray um, an IP address to use, so I'd recommend using that as your initial um, installation setup anyway, so that you can uh, then change the IP address later manually if you need to, but this gives you a nice quick setup and gets you on the GUI uh, within minutes. So we're just waiting for the, the Stingray to load up. Um, at this point in time, it's basically loading up all the services. This, this Stingray is built upon the Zeus Traffic Manager, so it's built upon a pretty reliable and well-known uh, load balancer. Uh, Riverbed acquires use uh, basically repackaged it as the Stingray Traffic Manager. Um, there's a couple of flavors available. You can do local traffic managers and global traffic managers, just like um, some of their competitors, but we're just going to use it as a simple local traffic manager. That's the setup done. The, the appliance is ready to use. We're just going to basically navigate to the GUI now. So we're going to use um, your favorite web browser and we're going to navigate to the address provided in the, the CLI there. So type that in. And remember, it's it's HTTPS, but it's running on port 9090, so we have to put the uh, the import there. So 9090, uh, quick proceed as we don't trust the certificate. And here we hit the eight-step configuration wizard. So it's very simple. We're just going to run through it very quickly. Uh, accept the license agreement again. Again, you can read it online. There's a link for it. We're going to set a nice simple host name, Stingray. You can use the fully qualified if you need to. So I'm just going to use Stingray for now. I don't have a, a domain for it to use. And I'm going to set an IP address. If you use a different IP address to the one provided by your uh, DHCP, here's your time to enter it. And I'm not going to be using mine on the NATID configuration. I'm going to use the same IP. Um, so we're going to set that in the gateway. Name servers we're not using. If you're going to use DNS lookups, then by all means put your, your, your DNS servers in now in the search domain. And set your time zone here. So we're here at London. The time never seems to update. Not sure why, but if you just change the hours, the minutes and seconds should be correct. Password, this is for the top level admin account. So the username is going to be admin and the password is whatever you set. So make sure you remember that. Click next. Now we're going to be using developer mode. So we're not going to be installing a license. That's if you want to do a full blown edition. Hit the summary and that's it. Eight steps done. And now we can actually navigate to the, um, if you've got a new address, the new address for the GUI. But what we're going to do is just wait for the Stingray to reload. Otherwise we get this, which web page not available. It is now available. And there we go click into that and that's it so we're just going to log in with the admin credentials it's going to ask us about the licensing once more as I say we're using developer which limits it to one megabit throughput uh, which is more than enough for this for this um, demo so we're going to click use developer mode just below and that's it we're at the home page um, I'm going to clear the event logs I'm going to go down to examine logs in the bottom right because I don't want to have all these logs at the beginning I want a nice fresh fresh feel to uh, to start this with so I'm going to click, click confirm and clear the event log and that's it. Um, it's ready for the next video, which is starting to build um, some pools and virtual servers. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to, uh, to showing you through the addition of web servers. 